So today is a very special day. So we're building a deck. So helical piles were created a long time ago, but they're just kind of making, a, a, making an appearance in Minnesota. How you do helical piles is you buy a ridiculously expensive drill, you hang it on the end of a mini excavator, and you put an enormous screw into the ground, and we're gonna show you that process today. But don't do the concrete, it's horrible. Terrible, I hate concrete footings. They're just stupid. It's so much work. It's like five to eight bags of concrete mixed by hand um, per tube. So today we're doing seven of them, so quick math, that's 35 bags of concrete. That's a sucky day. And then you gotta wait at least 24 hours, uh, 48 is better, um, to make sure that the concrete's good and hard before you can drill into it and then build with build on them. <laughs> um, I get rid of all of that. So what we're gonna be doing today are, there are I believe, two and seven sixteenths piles. So it's a seven foot long tube that is an enormous screw with a great big blade on the very bottom of it that digs itself into the ground. So it literally is a screw. That's why they call them screw piles. We're putting in seven piles today. It should take all of a couple hours once my guys figure out how it all works. And once we, once I get the, uh, the actual machine on, or get my drill onto their machine. And uh, I don't know, we'll go from there. Break his GoPro grabber. Light up. That's what you hear cracking. Oh. Go grab that. <laughs>
going on? Aaron with Open Concept Construction. Thanks for watching our video. Um, I just wanted to give you a little um, after is what, what, what it looks like after we put these piles in, how we cover up the big metal spikes sticking out of the ground. So if you want to take a look right down here, I'll show you. So as you can see, the pile's in there nice and tight. The, plate, the plates that we ordered, I ordered six by sixes and they didn't actually know what I was talking about. I wanted a five, five and a half by five and a half. So next time, that's fine. But we cover it all up with this plate and it looks beautiful. That's how I, I like to finish these anyways. So the box is all the way around everything. It just looks nice and clean. So uh, again, thanks for watching our video. Why don't you, you know, hit like and you know, subscribe and we'll talk to you later.